Hey, it's Andrea. I'm going to read you the introduction. This is, a, I think it's the second or third um, video in a series I'm doing that where I'm reading the introductions of books that I appreciate. Uh, this one is by Dan Sullivan of The Strategic Coach, How the Best Get Better, The Art and Science of Entrepreneurial Success. Uh, it's actually a book that comes, if you should go to look for it, it, it comes with two CDs originally and there's extra material on the CDs so if you're buying it used uh, it's very inexpensive but probably incomplete and if you buy it new I think I paid $50 for each of the books there's two in the series so it's basically like a book a, a course in a book so this is how the best get better better Global forces unleashed by the application of microchip technology are causing entrepreneurial revolutions everywhere. The changes that have occurred during the past 30 years due to the combination of microtechnology and entrepreneurism have been remarkable. Now this was, this is copyright 2005, so we're talking about almost the past 50 years, right? However, the changes that have occurred constitute only a beginning. We haven't seen anything yet. Ahead lies a complete bottom to top entrepreneurial transformation of global society. Political, economic, educational, and social structures are being reorganized in fundamental, far reaching, and non bureaucratic ways. Those who are entrepreneurial minded are delighted with this transformation because it allows them to access extraordinary, extraordinary capabilities and opportunities. Many others whose security and status remain based on bureaucratic systems are deeply disturbed and threatened as the pattern of human activity over the next 30 years may prove there seem to be three different responses to the growing tide of entrepreneurism in the world. So he's talking about the next 10 years from in this, in this context. And uh, isn't it interesting that it sort of coincides with the 2027 human design um, before and after-ness? <laughs> we can get into, I don't even know if I want to get into 2027 stuff, but the, the point for this space will be that 2027 is potentially some kind of a line in the sand where systems just break down completely going beyond that. So we already can see systems beginning to break down, correct? And so we have, there There may be a window here, and I don't want to be any kind of, you know, catastrophizing person, but there might may be a window here to take advantage of what's, what, what's um, available now and may not be available later. So why would you set that up now? Because why wouldn't you set that up now and take advantage of it? Otherwise, maybe you won't have the opportunity. And while it's working, you might as well um, use it. But it's your choice, of course. And all everything always comes back to our inner authority, yeah? Okay. Those who are entrepreneurial-minded um, are delighted. Those who are not can be who are based on whose lives base are based on bureaucratic systems are deeply disturbed and threatened. And we can see this like playing out in real time, right? Um, there are three different there seem to be three different responses to the growing tide of entrepreneurism in the world. First response, the best get better. The most successful entrepreneurs are taking advantage of new capabilities to create greater wealth and autonomy for themselves while providing new opportunities for millions of others. The, different, the second response, the beginners get braver, which I think is where most of the people I end up talking to are floating around in. Those entrepreneurs at the beginning levels of success and those dissatisfied with open-minded those dissatisfied and open-minded bureaucrats who know they must become entrepreneurial are gaining confidence and direction from the example of the best entrepreneurs. The other thing about 2027 is that that it's it's the point of it is that this is a um, the cross of planning, which is what has allowed us all to um, currently like we're at the end of it. The a four a four hundred year cycle, I believe it is, 
the next 400 year cycle begins in 2027. So everything is not gonna, I don't believe there's like a flip, a switch that gets flipped, although it might happen with some of these larger systems that really change things for us. But um, the there's, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a deterioration that's already started. But everything deteriorates and we pivot and regroup and and uh, refine things as they are needed to be refined. The third, um, the third type of response to the growing tide of entrepreneurism in the world is bureaucrats who become more resistant. Those hardcore bureaucrats who cannot imagine any other existence for themselves are doing everything possible to impede entrepreneurism. Even though bureaucratic resistance is still very strong in the world, the bureaucratic leaders are no longer seen as role models as they have been in the past. The executives of the most powerful bureaucratic organizations, government, corporate, military, religious, trade union, and academic, are no longer accorded the same level of respect as a class they are universally seen as mired in the past, unresponsive to the present, and blind to the future. Entrepreneurs are global role models and teachers. So all of you role model folk, this is the point is to become, become your individual embody, become and embody your, your individual potential, which is basically what human design is pointing to. Um, and the, the role, you become a teacher just by, be, just by being yourself. People learn from you what they're supposed to, if you're being your correct self. The best entrepreneurs have learned how to escape, bypass, and transcend bureaucratic structures. They see the past as a resource, they are innovative in the present, and they are visionary with respect to the future. These abilities, now those things are going to, like the degree to which we are, we have access to that is going to, de uh, is, is, I don't want to say dictated, but it's, it's, it's laid out in, like we can see what's true for us it, within our designs. So different, there's some different gates in particular that have different qualities and that's what, when they're defined, when they're colored in, that's what we're bringing to the table. So trying to be something that we're not already bringing to the table naturally is sort of the idea around not self. So a lot of a lot of what ends up happening is we want to um, we want to uh, refine our weaknesses when we really should be doubling down on our strengths. See what I mean? So these abilities are necessary to succeed in a world based on evolving technology. So that is, they see the past as a resource, and be innovative in the present, and be visionary with respect to the future. Or have people around you who have these capacities. Yeah. The entrepreneurial example is inspiring and instructive to billions of others who also have a desire to be resourceful, innovative, and visionary, because entrepreneurs have a non-bureaucratic concept of how the world works, they're able to focus strategically on their, on their most important abilities, relationships, and opportunities with a passionate long-term commitment that is impossible for bureaucratic in individuals to match. It's a real advantage, in other words, in this moment in time in particular. A global society needs a new global education approach the concepts and strategies of the most successful entrepreneurs are the foundation of this new approach. So I feel like I've been waiting for years for everybody to be ready to have the freedom of entrepreneurship that I've understood to be possible for years and years. So I've I've been online, and I particularly, specifically, I'm at this point online, an online entrepreneur. I have been an offline entrepreneur as well. 
Um, I used to make jewelry and you know sell things. Now I sell uh, ideas and guidance and uh, inspiration, pretend possibly. Um, I sell. I, I sell. What I sell is uh, the the access to the things people don't understand how they work kind of I don't know you'll have to you get to so I have this up in G you, you get to define what it is I do <laughs> for you because it's gonna be it literally varies from person to person um, yeah I, there's no way for me to really describe it you get to experience it or not and that's that I haven't this unexpected cross there's literally no way to predetermine pre think I know think I know or you to think you know what it's gonna turn into until we engage so and if we don't then it doesn't matter what it is I do right so but the point is, is I've been online since 1996 1996 like early early bird like before the I didn't wasn't too much in the mix I would, would sort of log on to bulletin boards here and there uh, pre-1996 which was you know I don't remember when the World Wide Web came online but point is it's been a long time and even before there was these browsers that we work through now um, there were these things called mailing lists or uh, listservs sorry that were basically it was <laughs> what it was was we were thrilled to be able to spam each other our opportunities and our ideas and our come do this and all that stuff so things have evolved quite a bit since then of course um, but the, the 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 principles remain the same we need an audience we need an offer and we need a system to be able to deliver those things to attract and deliver those things so there's two two there's before the sale and there's after the sale as far as the technology parts are concerned but it's really just it's it's that simple and also that complex um, it, it ends up being so if anybody is going to end up making a Facebook group funnel the way that I've done here I am slowly still putting it together um, but I have more people to talk to than I actually have time and interest to talk to. So if that's something that you are wanting, you want people to talk to, which is sort of the premise of this group, to, to set you up in a way such that you can have people interested in the thing that you want to talk about, to talk to, uh, th that's easy. Um, putting some of the back end pieces on is, is a little more complex but it's not impossible it's not what I've done for years like there's been a gap for me of the actual hands on technology part but I'm pretty sure that walking people will have just now done it for myself so I can walk walk you through what's happened here um, and that's it we need we need people that want to hear what we have to say we have to be saying things <laughs> somewhere <laughs> so they can hear or read or listen and watch um, and then we need something to act to offer the you know some portion of those people who are interested in listening a way to lean in further and that's the whole story that's it so and yet there it's really easy to not have all or or some of these components you know working in in concert with each other so anyway entrepreneurship is the way forward for I would say probably everybody who comes into human design um, yeah alrighty I will talk to you another day